here's a quick overview of using on learning with, along with your Power DOLs. Uh, the Power DOL uh, menu in um, on the Google Drive uh, for school leadership is uh, is available, and you'll see underneath uh, the Power uh, the the grades you'll have an activate in AIL. So we're going to click on this link here uh, for the fourth grade and click activate. So the first thing it's going to do is it'll prompt me, the teacher, to log in to my account. All right, so I'm going to log in. And then I've got to choose how I'm going to activate this assessment. So I'm going to post this with the students at home. We're going to post it to the student portal for them to take in their accounts. Now, I'm going to activate this for each class. Uh, so I'm going to activate it for my 5B class here. And I am uh, going to use these settings right here. So we're not kicking them out, we're not scrambling, um, or anything like that. I will so use match these settings here. Then I'll click Next, and I'll click Activate. Now, it, it's on in the student portal. It's listening. So as the students respond and answer the questions, that'll start to appear here on my screen, all right? I'm going to use, I'm going to notify my students in Google Classroom to log in and take this test. So we're actually going to click embed this assessment. And I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to copy the link. So now what I'll do is I'll go to Google Classroom. All right, so I'm just going to type that in here. And here is my, here's my 5B class. So I have some other things I've posted already. I'm going to share something with my class. So this is uh, take Power DOL for math right away. And I will click add the link there and click add link. And so it's going to, and then I'll click post. And so now that, when the students, they're used to going to Google Classroom, they get here. Uh, they'll say, okay, I'm ready to take the test. So now I'm going to take off my teacher hat, put on my student hat. I'm going to open that link and it takes the students directly to the sign in page for uh, all in learning. Your students will sign in with Google. All right. We are connected to Google under the hood. So they're going to click sign in with Google. I don't have a Google account. So I'm going to sign in up here. They need to sign in with Google and it launches them into the test. All right, so um, the test is loaded in PDF format so the students can scroll through the assessment, all right? And, um, and I'm just gonna be able to click in my answer so the students can navigate uh, up at the top if they want to. They can uh, click on the questions here, all right? Um, so I'm gonna pause right there. Back here, so you don't have to leave this screen open, all right? So you can you can leave this session active by clicking leave session active. And in fact, we're gonna do that here in just a second. But you see we're capturing the student data as we go. So Tom has answered four out of the seven questions and you've got his results here. I'm gonna leave this active, okay? Now this assessment does not show up in your lessons and assessments. Where it can be found is on the home screen under active, um, under active sessions. So there's that grade four math power DOL. So Tom is gonna to go on ahead and finish this assessment. All right, so he's completed the assessment. Now, he needs to click next and say, I'm finished. If he has skipped a question, all right, we'll highlight that and he can go back to the slides and answer that question, okay? so. Um, I'm going to um, go ahead and click here and say I'm finished and his responses have been sent in, all right? Even though the assessment is listed here, he cannot access that assessment again. He'll be blocked from it. And so back on the teacher side, here's my, um, here's this the DOL, I'm gonna click activate and use with engage and learn. And there everyone, uh, everyone is finished. Once the students are finished, all I've got to do is I've got to click in session and OK. And it writes the data to report to the reports. And then we've got our assessment, uh, our data captured for the Power DOL. 
you would repeat the same process for each class. You would access the link from here, and then you can uh, activate this uh, Power DOL for the next class and the next class. And that's our video. Have a great day.